Hi guys, it's Ben here, and after weeks of continuous reports saying that Red Bull Leipzig would not sell Naby Keita to Liverpool, the Reds have now reportedly made a bid. So what does that mean for this potential transfer? So Bild in Germany have claimed that Liverpool have made a £57 million bid for midfielder Naby Keita, that's €65 million, Euros, and that bid has been rejected by Red Bull Leipzig. Leipzig actually contacted Liverpool on Wednesday to let them know again that the player was not for sale, but that's still not putting Jurgen Klopp off. Klopp is still determined to get this deal done, and Keita too fancies the move to Anfield, but he may have to put in a transfer request in order to get that wish. There's no alternatives to Keita for Liverpool, it's either him or nobody in midfield it seems. They're really going all out to get him, and this is the first bid that we actually seen from them in this whole long saga. Now there have been conflicting reports about this for a long time now. It's always been the case that Red Bull don't want to sell and the price tag was kind of in quote at 80 million euros for if they were to sell. That's kind of the sort of sum it would take and that has been also reported as the fee Liverpool would go to to get the man. So why then have they bid 65 million euros, 50 million euros short of the asking price? It could be down to the fact that Liverpool now know that Red Bull Leipzig are willing to sell. They may have heard that somewhere. Obviously in public they've said he's not for sale but you'd expect that from any club that's trying to get as much money as possible for a player or just trying to save face with their own fans. Of course they're going to say that he's not for sale, but as the cliche goes, he will have a price. And we know that Red Bull Leipzig have got this wage cap, that's 3 million euros a year. There is talk that they may be abolishing that. But Keita has supposedly been offered £130,000 a week in order to come to Liverpool, which is a significant improvement on what he's earning in Germany now. So Chris Williams from This Is Anfield, I'm not sure how reliable he is and how good his sources are, but he's apparently liaised with some guys at Red Bull Leipzig and he thinks the deal is a formality. Graham Kelly, one of the ITKs on Twitter, Again, you have to question the reliability. Nobody really knows if he's telling the truth or he's obviously been told some information and he is of course just relaying it, but we just don't know how reliable that information is. But as far as he's concerned, the deal is very close. He'll know more on Friday. Ben Smith, who covered Liverpool for a long time, also says that things should be accelerating this week. So maybe Friday is a day that we find out is it actually going to happen? Have Leipzig come to terms with the fact the player wants to leave? We know there were talks between the club and the player earlier this week and he obviously wants to move. Have they accepted that finally, despite their stance in public that he's not for sale? The fact that Liverpool have gone in with a low bid suggests to me that they have accepted it. Otherwise, why would you make a bid that's below the asking price? If they have accepted the fact that he's going to leave, and that's kind of the angle I'm taking on this, then that's why Liverpool are going in with a lower offer. They're trying to take him for as cheap as they can get, at least bring Leipzig to the table. But as Paul Joyce says, they will go to 80 million euros if need be. And I think that is probably eventually what they will end up paying if they're going to get the player. Now I've had a lot of messages on Instagram and I've seen all over Twitter and everywhere Liverpool fans saying, look, this deal's off, we should move on from Cater and Van Dijk. But I've always maintained, as much as I'm not sure whether it will actually happen, the reason I'm a little bit confident is just because there are no alternatives. We've not been linked with anybody else really, especially in midfield or a centre-back. It just seems like there's so much desire from Liverpool to get this done there's a bit of desire from Cater to move as well and if Red Bull Leipzig are going to receive 80 million euros I just find it really hard to believe that a compromise can't be made somewhere. People will complain that we've only gone in with 65 million euros people might find that insulting or a waste of time but look we've put in a bid that's what people are inquiring out for us to do. Enough of the speculation, enough of tapping up and everything. Put in a bid and see what happens. That's exactly what we've done. It's been rejected, okay. That's what negotiation's all about. This is what happens with transfers. We go in with a bigger bid. People will say FSG just need to spend the money and get it done. Look, this is a huge, huge deal. It's a massive, it's double Liverpool's club record probably by the time this gets done. It's very easy to sit there and say, just put 70 million on Lambie Cater. I was as angry as everybody at FSG earlier in the window where we messed up with the Van Dyke situation. I thought it was really embarrassing. I thought, how can we mess this up? The player was ours, he wanted to come. Yeah, we still found a way to not get him. But we remained very patient with Nabi Keiter. I think it would be even worse if we just got put up by the fact that Leipzig don't want to sell if, if the price tag was too high and we just thought, okay, we'll get our second choice. This is the player that Jürgen Klopp wants. This is the basket in which all the eggs are going. Naby Keita is the player Jürgen Klopp has handpicked as the man that's going to transform this team. And Liverpool, I think they're doing all they can. And Paul Joyce says they would sanction an 80 million euro move. I'm sure with a lot of transfers, the first offer isn't the one that actually gets accepted. For me, this is very good news. The bookies now have it at one to two, the Keita joins. So, Last time I made a video about Keita, it was 1-5, to five, so it has obviously drifted slightly, but they were pretty much neck and neck the other day. I think they were 5-6 to six both ways, so of course I'm not encouraging anyone to bet, but the bookies do often have some insight as to what's happening, and they seem to make us favourites to sign Van Dijk and Keita. It's frustrating, it's slow, it's quite boring. We haven't had much news this week, but don't 
think that just because we're not getting any news that there's not a lot going on behind the scenes. We've made a bid, despite the fact we've been told it's not for sale. As far as I'm concerned, this is very good news. This means we think the club are about to sell. It's just about getting the right price now. I am much more confident that Naby Keita will be a Liverpool player this season than I was 48 hours ago. Leave a comment with your thoughts on the Naby Keita situation. Do you think that the fact that Liverpool have reportedly had a bid rejected is a good thing? Or are you angry with the fact that we've not just gone in with 80 million straight away? Let me know. Hope you enjoyed the video guys. Please do subscribe to my channel for more of this sort of stuff. I will be back soon with a Wigan versus Liverpool preview and I'll have reactions to that game too on this channel. Follow my other socials. It's Ben Might Say on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook and I'll see you next time.